fibers and technical yarns welcome to the class of technical textile the topic which we are going to discuss today is the technical fiber and technical yarn so it is very important topic from our subject technical textile point of view because whatever the properties of fibers and the yarns are there that only ultimately will decide the properties of technical textile for for specific function so already as a textile uh, students you already have studied the different types of fiber and different types of yarn and its manufacturing now in this subject we will see we'll discuss again the fiber and yarn from the their function point of view or from their technical properties point of view and we'll try to relate it uh, with the final properties of the technical product so uh so it is a very raw or it is a very basic fundamentals of our subject technical textile unless until you don't know the properties of uh, the fibers and yarn you cannot able to select the specific fiber and yarn for particular application so let's start with the class so the content which we are going to discuss today is uh, first of all we will see the introductory part we will see the introduction of the fibers and the yarn for the technical textile afterward we'll see the influence of man made fiber what is the influence of man made fiber is there on to the technical textile and uh, we'll see the various types of ispania ispania yarn and their technical functions and similarly we'll see the different types of the technical flamet yarn so these are the four topics which we are going to cover for today's class so let's begin with the introduction part so we'll in introduction we'll see how this fiber we can use for the technical function or technical applications so as we know that uh, uh, for the technical textile there are the different attributes are there and for that attributes the properties of fiber yarn and fabric uh, we are going to use for the functional use not for the clothing okay not for the clothing and furnishing so this is a new phenomenon where we are going to use the fiber or the whatever the textiles material is there for the technical application uh, so if you'll see uh, so nor it is exactly linked to the emergence of model artificial fiber and textiles and uh, uh, this uh, already you know that there are the various natural fibers are there the cellulose flax and cotton and that we have used uh, we were used in various technical applications like rope silk cloth and sacking so this is the part where we have to focus the technical application so apparel and clothing that is not our topic our main focus main focus how this uh, technicality or how this function of this fiber we can use for the technical applications so this example uh, is a conventional fiber which we are using and also there is a evidence that uh, this uh, fabric or fiber we have used very long back Uh, as in egyptian era or in uh, roman empire for construction of buildings uh, for um, giving the stability to the structure and for wrapping the mummies so for that technical function already we have used uh, now we will explore the role of this uh, evolving synthetic fiber in the technical textiles and so uh, further we will see what are the fibers and uh, what are the synthetic fibers what are the uh, uh, the technical yarns are there and its role in technical textile so let's uh, uh, go with second sub topic that is the influence of man made fibers so as we have discussed in last slide about the natural fiber uh, how it has been used now we will see what the what is the influence of man made fiber onto the technical textiles uh, so the influence of man made fiber onto the technical textiles so if you we'll see uh so before 1950s there were no synthetic or no man made fiber we are there only the natural fiber we have used uh, and that uh, having some limitation because of its properties so we have not explored their technical part that much so afterward one by one in market first of all the first in first man made fiber came is the viscose fiber and it's gained somewhat uh, some uh, segment of uh, Uh, applications technical application of cotton because of its some superior properties and afterward the nylon came into the market uh, by dupont company in around uh, 1940s and it has gained a lot of uh, market and and lot of because of its application 
of abrasion resistance strength and other uh, it's gained some market then the main uh, boom took place when the polyester uh, after the nylon fiber when the polyester is introduced into the market so initially it is introduced uh, for the uh, apparel and clothing but because of its customization and because of its cost it's gained a larger segment of the market and is still at present the 50 percent around or more than 50 percent is segment where we are using the polyester fiber and afterward uh, the polypropylene poly olefin fiber also came into the market they are also having some limited uh, segment or some applications and uh, at presently the high performance fibers we the introducing into the market well, so the high performance fiber the name itself is telling high performance and that we want in technical lifestyle we want a good performance we want a good function so this fiber specifically for technical textile it's very much suitable and this with the evolvement of this high, high uh, this high performance fiber we got a boost in the technical textile so this is how this uh, introduction of different uh, synthetic fiber how influence the our um, technical textile now next we'll see uh, this fiber one by one so we'll see the influence of viscose fiber one so in that we will going to see what is a viscose fiber and uh, what is the uh, properties it is superior and because of that properties in what application it is going to be used and what is the specific emergence in what field it is emerging at present and where it is influencing the whether where it is influencing the technical textile market so viscose fiber already in mind made textile uh, you have studied that is a, it is a first commercially available synthetic fiber it is a regenerated fiber that we are regenerating from the cellulosic uh, raw material and uh, it is cellulosic fiber but relative to the cotton as compared to the cotton it is having the high tenacity and modulus with the uh, somewhat uh, temperature resistance so because of this uh, superior property of uh, as compared to the cotton it's gained its application in the field of reinforcement material so what is the reinforced material we are using in the tire cord in conveyor belt it has been it is replaced the cotton and afterward also it is ideal for the fast emerging in the automobile sector in the form of composites in industrial equipment also it can be used is instead of cotton then at present uh, because of uh, its uh, good absorbency it is gaining its market in the uh, disposable cleaning and hygienic end uses that is in the medical textiles so at presently the main emergence of uh, this product is in the uh, medical textiles uh, now let's discuss with the next fiber that is the polyamide fiber so as uh, I discussed uh, in, uh, in uh, previous slides, uh, after viscose, uh, there is a polyamide have been introduced. Polyamide means that is uh, nylon. The example of polyamide fiber is a nylon. So in uh, poly, we will see what is polyamide fiber and what are its applications. And again, what is its specific emergence in what field of technical textile it is emerging. So this polyamide fiber uh, this nylon fiber is an example of that fiber. It is first introduced in 1939 by DuPont company and uh, it's, it's giving the very much uh, superior, significantly superior quality as compared to the viscose and cotton. So it's giving the higher strength, higher abrasion resistance, good elasticity and as well as uh, resistance to moisture and various other properties. So it is very suitable for technical application we can see and so because of its uh, superior properties uh, it's found its application in the ropes parachute fabric sprinkler sails and various other products and one more thing is that this nylon fiber is known for its impact resistance like in case of parachute where the parachute is suddenly opening so in that type of applications we have used uh, this uh, nylon fiber and it's again it's a market and also in the last like class slide we have discussed the viscose is having its market in the tire cord and other thing so now all this has been replaced with the nylon the tire cord and conveyor belt thing now what is the specific emergence of uh, emergence of this fiber so at present this uh, uh, fiber mainly we are using in tires so 90 percent we can say or 95 percent of uh, the tire cord is made up of nylon 
and still it is used in much more extensively in various other applications like sport textile whenever you want elongation somewhat moisture resistance little bit and impact resistance so therefore because of it it's gaining its market now let's discuss the next fiber that is the boss of all the fiber that we can say that the polyester fiber so after the introduction of nylon the polyester i have introduced and so we'll discuss wh what is a polyester what are its application and how how and why it is uh, is uh, emerging and which field it is emerging so the polyester fiber in 1950s after introduction of uh, nylon it is introduced into the market and it's got a huge growth in the world production of polyester at present it's contributing majorly in all applications okay and then so it's provide the high strength high abrasion resistance good elasticity and uniformity so most of the property is similar to the nylon other than other than the nylon uh, the property if you compare with nylon it's it's having the very low moisture absorption in case of nylon it's around 3.5 but here it's almost uh, very less moisture absorption it is having and it's having superior strength abrasion resistance and modulus and other properties so and also it is customized fiber we can customize for particular applications with the drawing and with the orientation of fiber and because of its low cost is gaining its application other than apparel and household product uh, in technical application it's gaining its uh, its a uh, role so initially it is introduced for apparel and household textile but because of its uh, superior quality and advantages this fiber now it's alternative to both viscose and polyamide fiber so what are the application we have discussed for viscose and nylon fiber most of the places it is it has been replaced the nylon fiber and uh, and this it is used in various applications so in uh, coming uh, uh, lectures we'll see the how it can be used now let's uh, see the next fiber that is the polyolefin fibers so example of polyolefin fiber means polypropylene fiber and so we'll see the poly about the polyolefin fiber its property and what is its uh, specific emergence so this polyolefin fiber uh, from 1950 onwards uh, uh, it's got a huge growth uh, okay and uh, Uh, not 1950 after 1960 with the after introduction of uh, polyester uh, then after the polyolefin uh, fiber have been introduced okay and specifically with the tape not only in fiber form as well as in tape and filament form in 1960 it has been introduced and that is the main milestone in development of technical textile okay once again i am repeating introduction of this poly polyolefin fiber that is means polypropylene fiber in 1960s that is main milestone in the development of technical textiles at present in technical textile we are having the various application huge application where we are using this polypropylene fiber and uh, so what properties uh, this fiber is having so this fiber it's uh, first of all it's a low cost and you can easily process it into the form of uh, thin film into the form of fiber and also we can customize it with the help of uh, different functional group like antimicrobial or anti uh, flame resistance all this we can easily get and also it's having abrasion resistance and moisture resistance so almost it's not absorbing any moisture at all okay so because of its uh, properties and also one more property is having that is a chemical resistance as compared to the polyester nylon or all other fiber it is having the good resistance to the acid as well as alkali so at present uh, it is emerging in the various application like sacks bags packing carpet backing furniture interlining ropes net geo textiles and n number of application it is emerging so this is about the our polyolefin fiber now let's see about the high performance fibers so in high performance fibers uh, we'll see what is a high performance fiber then specific fiber the one example we'll see of high performance fiber that is a aramide fiber and also another example we'll see of the uh, the carbon fiber these are the two major high performance fiber which are gaining its market in technical textile at present okay 
so this high performance fiber its emergence started recently 1980s it is introduced and still it is emerging in the, in the market okay one by one it's emerging in market and uh, so most significant and dramatic impulse to the evolution of technical textiles so the polypropylene have given the the polypropylene have given the boost to the technical textile that was the one uh, milestone and uh, afterward this uh, the introduction of uh, high performance fiber it is the evolution of technical textile okay and so what are this the high performance fiber which are giving the higher performance as, as compared to the conventional fiber and the synthetic fiber okay uh, so this aramide fiber first of all it is uh, introduced and this uh, this is the fiber which application is ranging from blade proof waste to the reinforcement of tire and hoses conveyor belt and other applications so whenever this polyester and nylons not able to give the performance uh, so that time we are replacing with aramide fiber so whenever we expect more strain working at more temperature we have to use the aramide fibers and afterward uh, the aramide fibers then the era the example of aramide fibers are in kevlar and nomex these both are introduced by the dupont company and uh, it's having the aromatic cling in uh, this amide chain therefore it's called as aramide fiber and afterward the carbon fibers introduced so carbon fiber other than its uh, normal uh, properties uh, it's having very good uh, heat resistance and because of that uh, it's uh, not only important in civil or air space market uh, Air, air space market but also it's a uh, high technology sporting good uh, industrial application in the form of fiber reinforced composite we are using it and these are the two example i have given there are the n number of uh, the fiber which are evolving one by one in the market and that we are utilizing in technical textile so this is what we have seen in last topic uh, about the uh, the influence of man made fiber in technical textile now this fiber we can use in the form of yarn and this yarn it may be a spun yarn or it may be a filament yarn so now let's uh, start with topic of spun yarn so first we'll discuss the spun yarn and then we'll discuss the the filament yarn so the spun yarn uh we'll discuss the ring spun yarn so before starting with topic uh, let revise uh, as a textile student Uh, you know that what are the spun yarns are there okay that we are making with the short fiber stable fiber as such there are the different types of spun yarns are there so we know that there are the ring spun yarn friction yarns are there core spun yarns are there air jet yarn there so till now we have seen the its manufacturing application in up to previous uh, previous uh, subject uh, up to previous semester now we will see we will concentrate on their functionality Okay, so let's so one by one we will see that fibers. So the mostly used fiber that is a ring spun, uh, ring spun yarn. Okay, and uh, this ring spun yarn have regular twist structure and it's very firm. So whenever we want uh, other than the properties, we want good appearance. You can go with this fiber. It's very as compared to the spun yarn or among the spun yarn, it is giving a very good uniform look. as it's having the regular twist structure and of also uh, this uh, fiber because of its regular structure and uh, good compactness of the fiber because of twist it is giving the excellent tensile properties as compared to the other spun yarn and therefore which often important in technical applications so as uh, we have discussed uh, in technical application we want uh, strength that is a primary requirement and that is given by this yarn and uh, also uh, it can be used uh, for the in the form of core spun yarn it can be used in the form of core spun yarn where we can use the where we can use the application of two components okay and that is the uh, most uh, suitable application in technical textile and uh, because of this uh, core spun configuration uh, we uh, we can use uh, in uh, it for the high strain as well as good comfort by introducing the high strain yarn in the form of lamin in between and spun yarn around and also because of its uh, this uh, application of core spun yarn uh, the other technical yarn 
we can get uh, by means of this uh, correspond configurations are the flame retardant and static yarn and by incorporating the flame retardant and electricity conductive fiber in the core or is in the uh, sheet form so and but it's having one limitation the limitation of this ring response system is the low production and somewhat more cost as compared to the other fibers uh, so what is the core spun yarn and how we are using it uh, that we'll see so core spun yarn means we are having one core and after that core we are around that core the other fiber it is present in the form of sheets so that is called as the core spun yarn so what we can do here so whatever these uh, whatever these uh, sheet fibers are there this we can use the spun spun yarn spun fibers and whatever this core yarn is there we are using in the form of filament and combining these two we can get the desired property if you want strength we will use the good uh, fiber good strength uh, filament and uh, same time if you want uh, comfort outside we will wrap with the cotton if you want electric uh, conductivity we will use uh, one wire or the nichrome wire or conductive yarn we will use and we will get a required properties so by using this uh, core spun configuration uh, we can use in the form of this uh, uh, configuration and we can uh, take the advantage of different applications in different form okay it may be a flame retardant or it may be anti static yarn or it may be a, a various other applications so this is about the ring spun yarn uh, so and now uh, we will see the other types of uh, yarn so the next uh, spun yarn we are going to discuss is about the rotor yarn so as you know uh, this uh, rotor yarn it's having the good production but uh, compared to the ring spun yarn it's having the low strength and poor fiber disposition so outside it's not look is not good the twist is not uniform the strength is the strength is low and the therefore it is limited to the somewhat coarser yarn so that is not a problem in technical textile so the fineness of yarn is not that much property so you can use in the form of coarser yarn in various applications and uh, but it's limited to the spinning of short stable fiber we cannot make it for long fiber only up, up to certain length we can spin the fiber in this uh, rotor yarn system and it's having the wrapping fiber that leads to the rough yarn surface and but better short term evenness so short term evenness is good uh, and but the wrapping configuration the belts and wrapping configuration we are getting so that is giving some fuzzy effect in appearance and uh, but the main advantage is that it's having the high production rate and low cost so whatever the waste fibers are there the recycled fibers are there we can convert into the technical application and in the space in the area of oeco tech okay so this is about the rotor yarn now we will see the next yarn that is a friction yarn so after the ring yarn the friction yarn is having the much more important in the technical textile so first of all see what is the friction yarn so this friction yarn it is having the configuration in friction spun yarn uh, the fiber configuration is very poor but the core spun uh, uh, the con core spun configuration we can get somewhat much better so if you see the main application of friction spin spinning is for the production of industrial yarn and for the spinning of recycled fiber so compared to the rotor here also we can get the uh, this uh, fuzzy appearance uh, with the poor configuration but here the core uh, core and sheet type appearance what i have discussed in the ring spinning that we can got and with more production and so therefore it's gaining its market in the technical textile and uh, this yarn from the some brittle yarn which cannot be spun in ring spinning like aramide glass fiber that we can be introduced uh, with the various core component as in the form of spun yarn and finally the core spun yarn we can use okay so whenever the limitation of ring spinning yarn is there the friction yarn we can use the high performance fiber 
the core and sheet configuration we can get by using this friction yarn spinning and uh, there are the uh, so the yarn can be used for tent protective fabric backing material and various other application so it's uh, the technocrat we have uh, who have to decide the core component and the sheet component and how to use it accordingly and uh, but the disadvantage is that this yarn is having very low tensile strength this yarn is having very low tensile strength and only coarse yarn up to 100 tex uh, we can get it and uh, usually uh, 100 tex and more than that we can get and uh, production is somewhat good but that is a disadvantage the main disadvantage is that it's a poor strength so this is about the friction yarn and so these are the three main fiber which uh, spun fiber spun yarn which are having some scope in the technical textile there are the other fiber other types of yarns are there and which having some limited application in technical textile so what are the other yarns are there so other yarns uh, the wrap spinning is there so in wrap spinning it's having some good uh, application in technical textile because here also we can use the a configuration of uh, bi component uh, stable core or introduction of sp uh, the special yarn that is the features of wrap spinning we can wrap around around a special yarn over that so because of that it's having the various example say for example the carbon coated nylon flamin yarn can be used to produce the yarn for anti static fabric using the wrap spinning by using the solution binder uh, for making the yarn for medical applications this is another application we can use the binder for making the yarn in medical application so in wrap spinning we have to use the some bi one of the binder and the, the functionality we can get in binder also and the disadvantage of uh, other other system is, is the air jet system and uh, it's uh, very having very low scope uh, because its configuration is in between the ring and rotor so mainly for spinning from short stable fiber we can make the yarn and especially it is li limited to the cotton and polyester the processing of high performance fiber is not possible so it's having very limited use in technical textile so this is how what uh, we have discussed about the technical spun yarn so now similarly we'll see the next topic that is the technical filament yarn so what is the technical filament yarn uh, so that we'll see so what is filament that already we have discussed let's just see once again what is filament so filament means uh, the filament yarn is that which is made from the one or more continuous strand so the number of continuous strand we can use either in the form of monofilament or in the form of multifilament yarn that we can use that is the basic of this is a technical yarn and uh, this is a, a filament yarn it is a reinforcing in various technical yarn as we have discussed in core spun yarn so this uh, this are the fiber this technical filament we can use in the core okay and because of that it can give the high modulus high strength or both for the particular core spun yarn and we can use it alone also in the form of uh, monofilament or multifilament and there are the various uh, or many de development we have seen in the fiber so that fiber or specifically synthetic fiber we can draw in the form of uh, this uh, filament and we can use in the various technical application like reinforcing protecting and number of applications uh, so there are the many types of technical filament that use in various application now that we'll see what are the different types of the technical uh, filament yarns are there so the technical filament yarns so aramide filament yarn already we have discussed about the aramide fiber in the introductory section or in the influence of uh, the fiber so that the uh, fiber we can draw in the form of filament yarn and that is our the filament yarn and so that because so that advantage we can use here and we can use in technical application much better so what is aramide fiber so aramide fiber are the polyamide where the at least 85% are the amide linkage and that is attached to the aromatic benzene ring okay so it is similar to the nylon only the thing is that in case of nylon we are having the aliphatic chain the linear chain here we are having the benzene ring and there it is at uh, the amide linkage is attached and as per definition what it is said the 85 percentage it should be covered 85 percent it should have the 
amide linkage okay then it can be called as the uh, amide fiber then uh, if you see because of this uh, ATP fibers and amide linkage because of that introduction of uh, this uh, aromatic group uh, what it gain it's gained high tenacity and high resistance to abrasion as compared to the polyester and nylon and because and also the chemical resistance and so now because of this uh, property uh, these uh, fibers uh, we, are, we are using uh, the, the fiber Nomex and Kevlar the Nomex and Kevlar are the trade names of this amide fiber that is a para and meta configuration respectively the Nomex and Kevlar we are having and so this we can use uh, uh, for its relatively lightweight and because of this all properties high strain high modulus as well as fatigue resistance and damage resistance it's gaining the lot of market in technical textiles so now so remember that the, the topic we are discussing technical yarn so this fiber we are drawing in the form of yarn and we are using accordingly okay the normex ceramide uh, the normex is giving the higher temperature resistance that can be used in firefighter and other applications and the kevlar is known for its uh, higher strength so that can be used in cut resistance fabric or wherever we need more strength so these are the two fiber that is normex and kevlar it's gaining its market uh, out of the aramite fibers now let's see the glass filament yarn so glass filament yarn is uh, not uh, uh, the presently involving uh, it has been used from very long back uh, this glass filament yarn uh, is incombustible that is a main advantage so for we can uh, take its advantage for the flame retardance and also it has a tenacity little bit okay uh, not too much more but uh, having sufficient tenacity so because of that uh, we can use it for the fire retardant applications that is like insulation for buildings and uh, like infiltration also it can be used uh, wherever the hot air we have to filter and uh, also because of its low cost this fiber is widely used in manufacturing of reinforcing composites so before the introduction of this high performance yarn polyester and nylon we have explored the glass fiber much more into the various application and still we are using it because of its low cost and because of its uh, uh, the temperature resistance property heat resistance property still we are using and we are drawing in the form of uh, multi filament or mono filament and we are using um, and uh, there are the different types of glass are there e glass c glass s glass so in each glass we are giving the certain property by introducing the certain co polymers so e glass uh, we get it's known for its good insulation properties c for its for chemical properties likewise different grades of these uh, glass filaments yarns are there according to the type of glass so but the main disadvantage of this fiber is not flexible it is very much brittle and the crack can propagate easily so therefore it's having the limited applications now the next fiber that already we have that already we have discussed that is the carbon fiber carbon fiber and as it is synthetic fiber we can draw into the mono or micro filament and we can use it so what is this carbon filament yarn so carbon fiber that is common uh, that is made from the one of the precursor by continuous burning or continuous heating and the fiber which we are getting uh, uh, the for heating or as a precursor fiber the rayon or acrylic we can use and from that uh, uh, we can get the carbon fiber uh, so why it is called as carbon fiber because of its uh, content of carbon so more will be the content of carbon than the hydrogen nitrogen oxygen therefore it has been used about its manufacturing and its drawing that we are going to cover in uh, uh, the further lecture so we are just we are exploring how it can be used in the form of technical yarn okay so about kevlar fiber and this carbon fiber uh, we are going to discuss further in uh, unit 5 okay so now just we'll see it's uh, uh, just introductory part so it's having high tenacity as well as high resistance to stretch and as well as chemical property so it can be used in the mainly for the fiber reinforced composite so at present market most of the composite have been replaced with the fiber reinforced composite and in that the fiber which we are using mainly is the technical yarn that we are using is the carbon filament 
okay in the form of filament or in the form of fiber so like the glass yarn the most carbon fibers are brittle so this is the disadvantage of this carbon fiber so now the another types of uh, the technical yarn we are having that is the high density polyethylene hdpe filament yarn so this is also recently introduced into the market that is a h high definition polyethylene yarn and uh, what is it so what hdp refers to high density polyethylene okay and the example of the commercially known the uh, trade uh, uh, the commercially known trade names are the spectra dynama and and uh, this uh, tech mill no uh, tech mill on these are the yarns which uh, came into the market and uh, uh this is uh, a uh, hdp hdp filament so hdp fiber they are having the very high level of micro molecule orientation like greater than 90% so you can see in case of dynama the orientation is greater than 95% so because of this uh, higher orientation so because of its higher orientation and as well as this uh, crystallinity it's giving a very high tenacity and modulus very high tenacity okay and uh, therefore uh, they are low fiber density that is the uh, weight is uh, lower than the water so the combined effect we can get low weight and maximum strength and modulus so where the application of high modulus fibers are there filaments are there like blade proof we can use these fibers the dynama types of hdp we can use there so this is and likewise there are the various other filament chains are there with introduction of uh, new polymers and new filament uh, we are having the different technical filament chains based on the type of polymer so one of the uh, the other filament yarn that is a uh, ptfe that is a polyuretra fluoroethylene and you know that it's a well known for its chemical resistance and uh, temperature resistance that also we can use and uh, other than this uh, uh this pba also introduced that is a polybenz uh, polybenzimidazole and is manufactured fiber in which fiber forming substance is longer chain that is aromatic polymer so this is also made from the aromatic polymer and it has excellent thermal resistance as well as hand good hand with moisture resistance so if you see the other fiber whatever we discuss polyester carbon kevlar we have not got good moisture again so this is the fiber we are other than its uh, excellent thermal resistance and strength it's giving the moisture regain also okay and uh, so it's having also its uh, particular market and pbo okay polyphenylene benzo by uh, by soxazole this is another uh, new fiber which introduced in the market that is organic fiber and it's known for its high modulus and it can be used in the form of composite and there are the low fiber density that is lighter than and likewise there are the various fiber which we can introduce into the market and so we can see this is how there is a comparison of the different technical yarn what we have discussed till now so we have discussed the aramide fiber so in aramide fiber there are the different configuration we can get so as it is a synthetic fiber we can customize fiber and we can get a particular application of a particular type so if you see uh, so these are the category of aramid fiber then the glass fiber e glass as glass we can get this is the carbon fiber category and this is the hdp fiber this is the hdp that just recently we have discussed so these are the different types of uh, filament yarn which we are using and each one is having the different properties now if you see from the density point of view as we discuss hdp is very lighter we can see the density is less than one less than water it can is it, it will float onto the water also okay so that is about density and if you see this uh, carbon fiber is having somewhat moderate density 1.7 1.8 and this glass fiber is having the highest density around 2.5 and 2.6 so it's a very it's having very uh, weight uh, weight it's having the weight okay so it is a dense fiber and uh, so for lighter application where we want less weight it cannot be used that much like say for automobile where we want lower weight and aramid fiber is having the like uh, average uh, layer density in the form of around 1.4 now coming to the strength if you see the strength in the gigapascal so this uh, 
So this is a fiber. The S class can give the strength of 4.6 gigapascal, but it's having the higher density also. So if you want higher density and low weight, uh, we can go with a, a carbon fiber and aramide fibers. You can see in carbon fiber, 3.4 is the strength, and the weight is a uh, density is 1.7. And similarly, the aramide fiber, especially this ballistic, where we want uh, high impact resistance and high modulus, the strength is 3.3 and weight is uh, 1.4. Okay, so with medium weight we can get this strength, but if you want to go for more strength, then you can go with the S glass. Okay, and uh, still also we uh, we can use in technical textile. So, but its density you can see it's very very high. The density is 1.7. Uh, the one density is 7.86, very much uh, heavier. So that limits its application. And uh, if you see now the modulus. So modulus is nothing but the uh, the elongation, the stress strain, both together decide the modulus. And mod modulus when we need uh, whenever we want to have uh, uh, the force retention or absor absorption of the high velocity bullet, say for one example. And whenever we are, we want a good uh, fatigue also with a good uh, strain endurance properties. So the high modulus we can uh, get with this. Uh, if we use the aramide fiber in the form of composite, we can get 120 gigapascal. And the carbon fiber, as I told you, in the form of composite, it can be used for high modulus. So it can give very high modulus up to up to 390. And the glass is not giving that much uh, modulus. And it still is having the good modulus, but as I told, disadvantage is that its weight is high. Then coming to, uh, coming to the elongation. So elongation point of view, this carbon fiber you can see it's very low elongation, only 0.5. So if you want to use it, uh, use for the application where the dimensional stability or uh, the shape is very important, you can go with the carbon fiber. And uh, the, if you see the elongation, the glass is not good to use whenever uh, we want dimensional stability and uh, it's not giving a good uh, stretch, uh, it's having the guru, it's uh, giving the very much uh, large elongation and uh, aramide fiber we can customize if you want less elongation we can customize for uh, aramide composite type of fiber and in case of ballastic where we want uh, somewhat higher modulus and uh, so there we can go with more elongation so this is how the comparison of various fiber is there okay aramide fiber glass fiber carbon fiber and dynamo fiber in the form of technical filament for the technical textile application now, afterward, last we have seen the high performance fiber which now recently coming into the market. So, you can see the polytetrafluoroethylene PBI and PBO. So, it's having these two fibers having average density and polytetraethylene somewhat uh, moderate uh, density. And but you can see here uh, the regain that polytetraethylene is having very zero regain. So, whenever we don't want moisture content at all, we can use it and it's giving PBI is giving somewhat more moisture again and this is also giving somewhat lower moisture again and elongation you can see so these are the elongation figures so like uh, mm, minimum elongation or uh, moderate elongation it's having so this is all about the comparison of different technical yarns so this is uh, about how we have discussed the various uh, uh, fibers and yarn in the technical applications uh, so this is uh, about the today's class that is a techni technical fibers and technical uh, yarns okay so what we have uh, discussed uh, so at the starting we have discussed uh, uh, what are the different fibers how it how it is introduced and how it affect the technical textile market and afterward we have seen the different types of uh, technical spun yarn ring rotor friction and other after we have seen the technical filament yarn that is a uh, carbon carbon polyamide uh, and uh, uh, others okay and then afterward we have compare the properties of all the different fiber together for a different technical application so this is about the today's class